welcome everybody for one sec here. As an organization, I, I, I don't think I've ever been more excited in my body to be out where we are right now. Bill's building a Stanley Cup winning team, and you guys are going to be the foundation of that team. Here it's a development camp. It's not about performance, but it's about how much you will be passionate about learning. That will tell us a lot about what's your ceiling. We think one day you will be a key component in our championship team. So you're on the journey. Be the best version of yourself. Our role here at, at Development Camp is to do some assessments, some testing, to figure out who you are as an athlete, who you are physically. Ask questions as we go, work hard, put in an effort, and be great teammates. How you doing? How you doing? Drive. Oh, 1.1. Come on now, stop the standards out here. up to you. It's an exciting time for our team with all the talent coming to camp now, and it's, uh, you know, you, that, that gives us momentum in the desert. Let, let's be honest, you walk through that training facility and you see the amount of first rounders and the size of our guys and where we're moving in a short period of time. I mean, you get excited. It's, it's, it's a fun place to be right now. There's always a step you want to take. And, and last year, last year, one of the steps I wanted was just to be comfortable and, and just display my game a little bit more. Obviously, this year heading into camp, I, I, I want to be a player that, that's dominant when it, when it comes to everything. And I think just continuing to learn, continue to grow my game, um, use all the resources they have here. And I think putting work in the gym and you know trying to get more powerful, you know, a lot quicker, and just translate that all in here. Do you want me to lean into it more or no? Where do I beat this guy here? Where do I go? Uh, just make him move his feet. You guys aren't really making him move, you know what I mean? My name's Alfie Michel. I'm an assistant coach at the University of Maine. So my name is Sarah Dora Maja. I am a goalie coach and a sports scientist from Australia. And for Ice Hockey Australia, I am the goaltender development manager. How's the shots? How are you, Troy? A little bit better, eh? The Diverse Hockey Coaches Intern Program allows us to bring two coaches into our family and work with our coaching staff. And it allows us to, to help grow coaches. As a coach, you're always trying to find ways to self-develop. And that was what I wanted to do, come here. Uh, obviously, it's a great opportunity through the BIPOC program to get here, kind of just pick something up that hopefully I can take back to our hockey club and, and pass along. For me, it's finding out how do things work in the NHL. It's identified, here's the cream of the crop, here's what happens, what do we need to do to bridge the gap that we've currently got. If you could have your ultimate training environment, what would it look like? Do you do any biomechanic stuff off the ice? It's just amazing to be here and, and soak it all up and see what I can take back and, and make realistic at home. I need all the help I can get from you three. In the middle of a kind of stressful camp and when you got a lot going on, it's, it's good to step away from the game a little bit and, and spend some time with the kids and the community and, and just have a good time with them, make sure they're having fun, but at the same time having fun with it as well. And You like it? No, it's not good, I know. <laughs> I think it's, it's hugely important for them to understand being an NHL player is just not on the ice, but you have to live the right way off the ice and you have to give back to the same community that supports you. It's a full package. All right, let's do it. What color do we need though? No, Nordy's a, he said he's he's pretty good at, at art and, and good in the classroom. Elliot was another good one. Uh, Melker surprisingly was, was the best at, at playing asteroids with the kids, with, with shooting balls to their feet as they run by, even though he's a goalie, but they're, they're all pretty good in, at everything and they're good people, so they, the kids love them. How'd you do that? Show the camera. Look at your coyote. Now you have to show me how to do it on camera. Well, one of the hardest things as a, as a prospect is, is to be able to eat properly every single meal. You know, and it's the biggest thing that you're trying to kind of plant a seed with your prospects. And I think that's where Carl Bombardier comes in and he educates about putting the right fuel in your body. And he runs this cooking challenge. Prediction? Yeah, it's probably gonna taste good. It doesn't look good. Don't make the beans dry. Nobody likes dry beans. 
Okay. Yeah, you can have some cold cooked veggies. No one likes that. The onions get me a little bit. Hey, you gotta make the Quebecers back home proud. Yeah, it will. Thank you your mom and dad. Be proud of you. Don't disappoint them. You have a good time with a group of guys, and you get activities that are fun away from the rink. And it's another way like to get like closer together. During like the day, we just also focus on our stuff. So I would say just doing those kind of activities, we just can like turn off of hockey, and then we just have fun together and bond together and get closer. Yeah. Just doing uh, the secret sauce of Mario, and then I'm just making it like in secret, so like the other team don't see because everyone just loves it. So it's gonna be like a, a special thing for for our team here. American, uh, American style. style with some uh, ketchup on the top <laughs> and some beer beans here yeah, that looks good. Three, two, one, gloves off. How do we feel? What we have in front of you here today is a master class in the cooking kitchen. We have uh, Mario's tacos with uh, no beans because not everyone likes beans. We're going to be a little bit different. And then the lime, of course, which we grew in our backyard and brought here for you guys. So, yeah, enjoy. At least you know the chicken's done. Oh, yeah. Hope you enjoy. Thank you, chefs. Chicken's too dry, so we need water with it. That's not good. Okay. All right, we can't please everybody. <laughs> All right, the judge did a lot of talking, and it's not easy, guys. Those were really good tacos. The winner of the taco contest no. I'm going to go with the unpopular opinion, Ramsey. Hey! <laughs> Who are you rooming with this year? I'm with uh, Kip Kai. I'm, I'm with Ilya Fedotov, or Fedotov, I guess. I should I get it right before he gets mad at me. But it, it's been pretty fun. We've got to, to use Google Translate quite a bit, and we're slowly learning each other's languages. I know you and Logan are uh, rooming together. You know he's throwing out the first pitch on Thursday. Is he going to throw a strike or uh, what? what no, you for? there's no chance. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. Um, obviously, it's Super cool experience, and um, you know I'm really looking forward to it, and hopefully I can throw one down the middle. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, for sure. Thank you guys for being here. Ready? Oh yeah, we got this. Cool. Look them off. Look, you have to. <laughs> Dude, I'm actually going to get up though and be way more nervous. <laughs> That's a dive! No, right before it. Oh, Should I? Logan <laughs> Cooley! <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate that. From Pittsburgh. It's yep. uh, Oh, wow. The office. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. He goes, where are you going to throw from? I said, right in front of the mountain. He goes, no, go mountain, go mountain. I was like, because like, <laughs> when you're up there, it's so far. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. You know, I wasn't planning on throwing it from the mound, but <laughs> he told me to, so I ended up doing it. But gladly, I did not. Uh, you know, I made it off the ground and, you know, it didn't make that big of a fool out of myself. Getting to go to baseball games and, and getting to do stuff like this and cook is something you remember more than the hockey at the end of the day and it just brings the group together better as a whole. Just getting the the, uh, the fans involved and getting the fans into the game, you know, for them to see the the young talent, the Geekies and the Coolies and the Lamarus of the world that's coming in, and our fans getting to see it for the first time, it's an exciting time for the fans. I'm excited to see Logan Cooley and Josh Dunn. I'm excited to see you know maybe someone that that'll surprise me. See how well they do, and you know, see who's going to be playing for us down the road. Let's go, Yotes, baby. 
It's in our DNA, it's in your DNA to obviously work hard. If you guys are willing to make plays, you need to get on the bench, let's go for it. Let's go for it, all right? No matter if you're playing cards or playing Sheeny against your boys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's have a night. Good development camp. We, we had a lot of fun as a group, and good competitive game at the end. It's, it's always fun and, and good for the fans to watch. And we just want to thank all the fans for coming out and supporting us and taking time out of their day to, to show us like, some, some support. And it means a lot to the group. And can't wait to see you all next year and, and this coming fall.